Yeah. Uh, the theory, actually not the theory, but what happens is like this. Uh, that, for example, if you compare it to a princess or a warrior or something like that, uh, the fact is that the canopy, the canopy seal is lower. Yeah. However, then your view is blocked by the cowling. Here, the canopy seal is higher. But then the cowling recedes, so you don't see any cowling, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so you basically it's the same. And <laughs> when we did the high-speed taxi test, I was on the left seat, the, the lead engineer was on the right seat. But outside, and we said, this visibility work yeah. will work out, but up until that point, we were a bit skeptical. Yeah. I, I was just saying, because people were saying that the visibility is not so good. But if I compare to my tail tracker, it's very good. Because, <laughs> because I see nothing. <laughs> but still, you have to make this and this yeah, uh, this black. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. This is the only complaint that we yeah. have. And these are reflecting also. Mm. But this bit of some black paint is easy to make. Not really black paint. We'll use the same technique that the gunsmiths use, you know, for guys. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, so that that's already will be taken care of. Yeah, otherwise the, the visibility is great and also if you want to see in-flight in uh, shots of the visibility, yeah, yeah, yeah. just go to YouTube, Pantera made in flight and you'll see we have some shots taken with the headset camera okay. which is in the level of the eye yeah. and you can see how the visibility is during uh, takeoff roll approach and so on. So uh, it's great actually. To be honest, I, I could use this for towing also because I can see that thing over there. Yeah. <laughs> really, you, know, you can see down one. Yeah, Even if the low wing. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this, the cam, the, sorry, the can of these transparent surfaces go to bottom yeah. here, so... Uh, and even on the other side, yeah. see very well. It's not bad, yeah. No. Surprise. Right. Yeah, this worked out. I mean, it's, it was a radical design, but it worked out. Yeah. You've been flying for like uh, 40 hours with this? 32 actually. 42, okay. So you have one somewhere. 32, 32. okay, 32, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that's good. You did the first flight with him some uh, three, four weeks. Yeah, fourth of April, and on Tuesday we, we flew it over the Alps. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that, that's an indication of how of an aggressive test flight program we are running and that the aircraft does not have any major issues. Okay, yeah. of course something small to fix. Of course, yeah. 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 We have, you know, we are fine-tuning the aircraft so that that's basically it, uh, it will work as a unit. So. Okay. As a pilot, would you increase the size of the tail? Uh, we as a pilot, not, not as a uh, company pilot, but as a pilot. We already increased the, the if you see the, with the fixed tab. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we already increased the volume of the trim tab. Okay. Okay. That's but enough. not the tail. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, if you see uh, I don't know, the in-flight photos, you will see that during lower speeds, like 80 or something like that, we run out of trim. Okay. okay. So on the production model, the trim size, the trim type will be larger. Uh, other, otherwise, regarding steep force per G and so on, uh, the, the tail volume is absolutely enough. Okay. We are just lacking the volume of the trim tab. Okay. That, when you see this, it looks like a tail is a bit too small. But okay. But that's also on our other aircraft. For example, if you check out the virus and so on, tail is ridiculously small, but it's enough. Oh, what about stalling? You have done that. Yeah, we have. Well, we didn't measure it. Okay. Uh, we done the stalling so to check out the behavior. Yeah. Um, we checked out the behavior, and the fact is, well, just an indication of how good the stall is. We normally fly this aircraft on approach with 70 to 75 knots. Mm -hmm. Uh, the aircraft stalls, stalls uh, clean at about 56 knots with a very, uh, with a very pronounced buff at five knots before. Uh, the full dirty stall and it goes sometimes on left wing, sometimes on right. Okay, so it's indifferent. Yeah. Uh, then uh, fully dirty, so flaps full down to landing configuration and landing gear down. 
uh, the stall speed is it kind of stalls at 54, then it goes just like you know parachute yeah, style. Like, like so it's, yeah. it's 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 between 54, 52, 54, yeah. 52. So you don't actually get the full stall at that time. It's got no, like, uh, like Cessna, like in in full dirty configuration, we out we ran out of uh, of stick back stick. Okay. In full clean configuration, the, let's say the full stall is is, is let's say the full aerodynamic stall is attainable. Okay. Um, full power stall, it's 35 degrees pitch up yeah. and 46 knots. Okay. <laughs> and what happens? It goes to the side or left to right? It more or less resembles the the clean stall. Okay. okay. So, yeah. but I like this uh, idea that it, if something really goes wrong, I mean, if the bug dies and there's someone next to you, full flap, stick, stick back and it from someone. Like so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a bit of a vintage concept. If that situation would occur, I would suggest the BSR. Yeah, actually, yeah, as long as you have parasols, of course. Yeah. So, for example, if the deck says, no, I'm still in the tube. Yeah. What happens, you just pull the stick back and put the full flaps, it will come like a stream of the tree. Yeah. That, that, that's true. I mean, the descent rate is not, then not high. So. Because this is this, it looks like this very very slim line and fast plane. Uh, it, it, it looks like you get this idea that the stall is very aggressive. Yeah, and that it's like a Lanker or a Columbia or a Cirrus or whatever. But actually, it's a, it's it's more of a pussycat. The aerodynamic people did a great job with doing it. I mean, we have a proprietary airfoil, so we have an airfoil design in house. And everybody, because I was expecting this to be a hot ship, and everybody was a bit afraid of it, and then we did it. No problem. So what about the uh, spin? We didn't do it okay. yet. Yeah. How is the tanks? Are they in the top of the ring or are they coming this way? The what? The tanks, full tanks. Uh, the, the tanks are going here. Okay. So you, you don't you are not afraid of the same problem that you have for example with the crewman that if you make a stall the gas is going to the top of the screen and No. no. It's such a long way anyway. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is that if you have a relatively let's say thin uh thin and thin and long uh, fuel tank so uh, what we'll do on the production model is that we'll increase the uh, holes in the ribs okay. so that okay. the filling of the gasoline will be faster. Will be faster. Okay. Now you fill, fill up and then after half, it's half filled you have to wait a bit. A cup of coffee and then No, no not really. But yeah. You, know, yeah, yeah, you, just, you just kind of feel yeah, yeah, yeah. and forget about this. You have to watch it again. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's the modification you have to make. And, uh, but I did hear that the rim will be somewhere else. Yeah, and it will be also that, a different rim because it will also be a rudder trim. Yeah. So you have two positions. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. So you uh, did you do the first flight now? Yeah. yeah. How did it feel? Yeah. yeah. Okay. A bit exciting. Actually, you know, in flight testing, the first flight is is more of a publicity event than a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just go and fly the aircraft. There is no mission to it. Yeah. Um, you know that then the aerodynamic testing that's that's, that's more, just beginning. Yeah. That's more, let's say, um, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hey, many thanks for your comments. No problem. It was a pleasure. <laughs> That's why it's first person. It is important to